Hello guys, welcome back to Topino Games. Alright, so we just finished our uh, Siege Wars. And we're gonna do that sometime um, in the future. But right now, don't forget to do your events. Because events give you a lot of goodies. Okay, like for example, there's a new one. The Boomerang Warriors and Chakram Dancers event. You just complete your missions every day and then you'll get the ones on the left and use energy and then you'll get the Chakram Dancers bonuses. Plus, once completed, you'll get scrolls in the end. Okay, and then of course, the summoning pieces for the Light if Ifrit. Um, we have the Ancient Magic Shop that just opened. So, every day, you just have to do the completion of those events and then you'll get those three rewards um, but honestly once you've completed all these requirements you don't really and once you get you got in that devil mode you don't really need to um, what do you call this do the rest and if you don't have the fire vampire you can do all these um, events and then you'll get verde heal he's very important for dragons and if you don't have him I suggest you do this event you have a few days left to finish it yeah okay so um, a few days ago I got a special request from one of my one of our subscribers so his name is Mr. Kevin okay so Hi Kevin, this video is for you. Um, we're doing a review on Shihu, the Water MK. Okay, so previously I made a video, but it crashed. Um, I used all the runes from Hua. I transferred all her runes and put it onto Shihu. Okay, so that's his stats right now. Um, he's on attack, crit damage, attack, swift, blade. Okay, because we want that crit rate, we need a higher crit rate because of his skills. Um, his third skill, Alter Ego Attack, requires a critical hit to remove beneficial effects granted on the enemy. And then the second skill, all or nothing, decreases attack bars by 30% when the enemies are under harmful effects. So definitely we will need a lot of um, defense break in there. So um, before we bring him to Guild War, we're going to test him in Feymon Hell in the hardest level in center. So that this is probably more or less the same builds that you'll encounter in the Guild Wars. So, okay, what's really nice about Mei Wang is his leader skill, he has an attack power increase, that's 33%. So, as you've seen, um, my Shihu is not exactly fully skilled up, but with the current runes that we've been able to give him, it should be good for a Guardian build war. But, let's see how much he does. Okay, so, um, yeah, we're putting attack buff first with Bastet, and then we're gonna get a defense break on one of these monsters, and let's see how much Alter Ego attack does. 12k per hit, uh, not so bad, that's 4 hits, that's around 40,000, right? Um, and then... Let's see how much his all or nothing attack would do. Wow, not bad. 20,000. 20,000 on a defense broken monster. Um, but it can be, it can increase. Um, especially if you have like, you know, a um, skilled up monster or a skilled up Shihu. Let's try that again. Auto Ego attack. He's hitting around more or less 11 to 12,000 per attack. 
Yeah, that should be fine. Um, okay. So at this current build that we have for him, um, we want him fast so that you can work with our um, fast um, speed based comps. And so now we have we have him defense broken. Let's see how much auto ego. Okay, so it hits even for 13,000 because we have the attack power lead. Okay, so without further ado, let's go to the guild war and test out Sheepy. Mm, let's get ready to rumble! So we're right, right now we're fighting against Insula Adventum. Okay, we'll go to the plus two defenses. Uh, we haven't won the guild war, but it should be fine. Um, we're gonna look for someone that we can shihu, and usually we can shihu the Steomars. Um, of course, we won't go into wind monsters because we are water, right? Um, yeah, so let's do someone that we know we can handle, right? Um, so because that's the point of the Guild War. You know, we, we have to win right now. We haven't won the Guild War, so we wouldn't want to go against a team that we know we will lose. I mean, what's the point of making the review if we're gonna lose, right? So for the first time, I'm just gonna do safe teams so that if ever we fail with she who we still are, will be able to help our guild win the war. Okay, so we're gonna outspeed that Raviti and that Rakuni, and then we're gonna go kill the Theomars first. But then, since they're fire and Tiana's wind, they're going to have the advantage over Tiana. But since we have water monsters, we have Shiwa as water, um, he should be able to survive Komon and Rakuni. Yeah, so let's go. Let's try it out. Okay. For the first round, I'm not really worried. Um, we usually outspeed that Orion. So once we get the immunity up, except, uh, you know, unless Orion goes crazy, which he can, because he's a very RNG based monster, especially with that harmless prank skill. Um, on weekends, RNG gets so crazy during G3 Guild Wars, you know, and you're just gonna go pop you with a defense break and then kill your team. So, yeah, that's fun though, you know, RNG, because if it's like, if you win all the time and there's no RNG, then it's gonna be boring, right? So, you always have to uh, pray for a good RNG. <laughs> Yeah, so, okay, as you can see, um, yeah, I killed Orion first because he, I don't want that harmless prank going crazy. You know, with the defense break on Feng Yan, it's dangerous. Probably not going to just proc and go crazy and kill my Feng Yan, so, we're not going to do that. Um, yeah, but we're going to kill that Feng Yan last. Yeah, because without the rest of his teammates, he won't be able to bust out our water, fire, wind, guild war offense team. Okay. So I want him, I want Feng Yan to have a defense break when I do my collapse so that it will be a fast kill. Because if we keep collapsing him and he doesn't have a defense break, it's gonna take like forever right so boom Ooh. yeah and so that was a huge chunk of damage from Rakan and that's gonna bring him down to that HP and kill him as easily for the second round here we go winds of change from Tiana and then we're gonna do time to loot, give him defense break 
and attack buff onto Shihu and then now we do alter ego attack Open Gangnam Style Okay, not so bad. Yeah, so the third skill, Auto Ego, actually worked and took out that Endure from the Mars, which is really good. Very effective as long as you get the crit rate right and as long as you get the critical hit <laughs> yeah um so now ten is a bit in danger because both those fire monsters are attacking her um let's see if we can mm. oh no oh goodbye yeah, there goes Diana. Yeah, I don't think these fire monsters are gonna win me. Um, yeah, Galleon, it's like this elemental advantage. That's the reason I was telling you earlier to identify, you know, the re correct elemental advantages. Because you can't bring water monster to wind monsters, right? So at least, at least for this one, we have advantage because we are water all right good win now next uh, opponent we're gonna go for a plus one okay these are the defenses we look for someone who we can shihu and this guy would be it for the first round i'm just gonna maintain my lineup to keep it safe make sure we win one we don't want being a non you know a zero contributor to the guild war but for the first one we'll or for, sorry for the second round and we'll need a defense breaker that can stun yeah, because we want to get the first turn we, uh, we lost Tiana in the first fight so I'm putting in Bastet but I don't really need to um, defense or attack bar attack power boosters so I'm thinking someone who can take out will runes and provide defense break um i think yeah speed leader would be gemini now would Bast bastet would go first and then gemini would provide defense break and maybe remove any will runes on that theo mars yep okay so for the first round again this is going to be um 100 win this is my 100% win team. So, the only danger here would be Fengyan armor breaking Wusa and then Chandra attacking Wusa as well. So, we're gonna kill Chandra first. Yeah, because after there's always one turn that Wusa is vulnerable. The defense break from that Feng Yan because he loses the immunity for one turn. Yep. A yeah, good thing Chandra was provoked there, or else he would have attacked into. Yep. Okay. Wusa. So now that um, that Chandra is dead, we can just go kill this. Um, what do you call this? Go kill the Perna and then we'll just leave Fengyan with a 3v2 fight with our monsters. Yeah, okay, so there goes the first life of Perna. Okay, sleep, no sleep. Um, okay, come mind, dot him a bit, 
Oke, okay, heal up. Defense break, no defense. Defense break, no defense break. But anyway, we'll kill him. Kill him already. Okay, and then this thing is left alone, all alone. Uh, so this is a very strong comp because it's multi-elemental team. It has fire, it has wind, it has water, and then it has sustain because Mirakan is on vampire, so he's just gonna leech life out of whoever. Um, yeah, so. This thing ends going crazy. Uh -huh. Defense break. And then we put immunity up. We don't want Wusa dying yet. And there goes Fengan. Okay. Now it's time for Shihu. So Oasis Blessing to give us the attack bar. And then now Gemini to do Fly Fly and Strip. Oh, but the thing here is you have to have less beneficial effects than the enemy. Good thing he's not on will. And we can do our defense break with the second skill without that will giving us problems. So now we do fly fly the defense break. Okay, good job. And then now time for alter ego. So even though um, she who wasn't able to kill Theo Mars. Um, he's invisible, invisible, invincible. So now, all or nothing. Okay, so not not so bad. At least. Uh, we were still able to kill Theo Mars despite um, Alter Ego not working on him. Um, if perhaps if you kill him up even further, you'll get more um, power out of his attacks, definitely. Um, but even though right now he doesn't have too many power ups, he's doing actually not so bad. Yeah, he's doing very well, as a matter of fact. Decreasing attack bars, you know, providing a, f a little bit of crowd control. And then with this team, yeah, there goes Praha with no, you know, we blocked her heals. And then now again, we can just stun her with the first skill. And then he also has um, that attack power lead skill. So. Yeah, Shihu is also a very good monster, especially after all those, um, what do you call this? Uh, that thing where they changed the skills. Yeah, the update, the latest update. Okay, so now we go to the plus threes and we look for another one, another person that we can... Shihu. Right? We wouldn't want him going on a suicide mission. So... Let's see. Okay, let's go for... Um, this guy, Erzhuen, who has um, uh, yellow HP still. Okay. Now, what we look at... I'll need a, a speed lead and get bring in Wusa to outspeed at Orion. For the, um, for the second round and then for the first round I'll just bring in someone to tank um, Perna or someone to help Feng Yan. I'm thinking maybe Chandra or someone but then there's Ritesh yeah Chandra should be fine I think yeah we'll provide heals and then we'll hug Feng Yan and kill that Perna before he even gets to go crazy with his violent procs or whatsoever. Yeah, we should be able to do fairly okay. Okay, here we go. Um, Vampire Nemesis gives us the turn. And then we collapse on this, um, what, Molong. Okay. Ooh. 
I need heals, I'm gonna hug this Rakan first because they have a tendency to hit the lowest HP opponents. Yeah, so he didn't attack. Oop. Ooh, nice one. Okay. So we'll just kill this defense breaking Mo Long before he goes crazy and strips us out of everything. Yeah, he's the stripper, the defense breaker, and burst damage. Die, Mo Long. Okay. Um, now we hug Feng Yan because they're gonna. Yeah, let's kill this. No, okay. No, he won't. You don't have to kill Perna because he's gonna attack into Feng Yan, and then Feng Yan's just gonna. Well. <laughs> yeah, the, yeah. Well, he's stunned. <laughs> yeah, we don't have immunity, so that's fine. Uh, yeah, this Pern is just gonna die. Yeah, because he's gonna keep attacking Feng Yan, and then we're gonna keep hugging Feng Yan, and then... Ba -ba boom Goodbye! And now with us all alone, it's not gonna 3 versus 1. This multi-elemental power team. Mm. Okay. Now, time for Shi Hu. Okay, so Orion's gonna go crazy. Okay. Mm. Mm. Okay, good thing we had shields from Wusa. Now, time to loot. Come on, defense break, please. Beautiful. Now, Alter Ego attack onto that um, Theomars. Okay, that's fine. Now that we get the turn, boom. Okay, then goodbye Theo Mars. Alright, so we just continue working on this um, Kumoon and Orion. Since we're both, we're all mostly water monsters, we're not really afraid of Kumoon destroying or killing any of them. So that should be fine. Okay, and then, yep, kill. You can put him on violent, but if you can maintain the speed so that he speed sync with your team, then perhaps you can put him on violent. But this build is fine for me because, you know, it has a good crit rate build and everything. Um, yeah, so that's three wins for Shihu. Good job. Okay. Yeah, so here's She Who one more time. Um where is he? Okay. So I maintain his crit rate. Um there's his attack power lead skill, thirty three percent. That's his build right now. Um yeah. So Kevin, that one's for you. Thank you to everyone for watching. And may the force be with you. Like and subscribe. See you in the next video. Open Gangnam Style. Gangnam Style.